Did you know that there's more to steak than just being a piece of beef? We're about to explore every style of steak that we could find across the United States, each with its unique story related to different regions of this mouth-watering country. Stay with us till the end to discover not only these delicious cuts, but also some quick, super easy insider tips on how to cook them to perfection, so that even your uncle, who thinks the smoke alarm is a kitchen timer, can turn into a grill master. Number 1. Tomahawk Steak In the bustling steakhouses of Texas, underneath the neon lights, chefs masterfully grill the tomahawk steak. Imagine a Native American tribe in the vast plains centuries ago, skillfully using every part of the buffalo. The rib bones, a symbol of resourcefulness, were transformed into tools and weapons, like the revered tomahawk axe. This historical ingenuity is the spirit behind today's tomahawk steak, a culinary tribute to a time when nothing was wasted and everything had a purpose. The Texas tomahawk stands out because of its big size and special cooking method. The bone inside adds extra flavor. As the steak sizzles on the grill, the bone infuses the meat with a depth of taste, a blend of earthy and rich flavors. The reverse searing method, a Texan twist, ensures each tomahawk is perfectly cooked. The steak is slowly roasted, then seared at high heat for that perfect crust. Number 2. Cowboy Steak The cowboy steak is a special kind of ribeye that stands out with its long bone, extending up to 5 inches. Flavor-wise, it's just like a boneless ribeye. It's usually cut thicker than your regular boneless ribeye, which adds to its appeal and gives it that cowboy feel. They're known for their world-famous mesquite grilled cowboy steak. Their version is a thick-cut bone-in ribeye grilled over real mesquite wood. The cowboy steak isn't just a meal, it's a slice of American Western history. Imagine cowboys gathering around a campfire, grilling thick bone-in ribeyes under the stars. It's this rugged, adventurous spirit that lives on in every bite of the cowboy steak, a culinary icon of the Old West. Number 3. Ribeye Steak The ribeye steak finds a home in New York City. Known for its rich flavor and tenderness, this cut is a staple in the city's famed steakhouses. Here, the method of pan searing is king, creating a crust that's simply irresistible while keeping the inside succulent and flavorful. On the west coast, the story of the ribeye takes a delightful twist. In cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles, chefs add their flair using locally sourced grass-fed beef. Imagine tempting aromas from grills and wood-fired ovens, paired with inventive sides and sauces. As one LA chef puts it, it's not just a steak, it's a canvas for culinary creativity. But what could be the next steak? Number 4. T-Bone Steak in the U.S., Texas Hill Country, in particular, is renowned for its T-bone steaks, often cooked over mesquite fires for extra smokiness. The story of the T-bone steak takes us back to Florence, Italy, during the era of the powerful Medici family. Legend has it that during the Feast of San Lorenzo on August 10th, beef was roasted and sliced, shared with the people of Florence. Think of the T-bone as the charismatic cousin of the porterhouse. Both hailing from the cow's short loin, they share a family resemblance. The T-bone, with its smaller filet mignon portion, is like the classic understated relative. But the porterhouse, with its larger filet, is the more indulgent member of the family. It's not just about the size, it's about the story they tell on your plate. So, here's a quick tip. If the filet mignon part is less than 1 and 1 quarter inches wide, that's a T-bone. If it's wider than that, you're moving into porterhouse steak territory. And speaking of porterhouse, that's another great steak we'll talk about next. Number 5. Porterhouse Steak In New York City, where everything's always moving, the porterhouse steak catches your attention. There's a lot of debate about where the porterhouse originated, but most people believe it dates back to around 1814 on Manhattan's Pearl Street. This area is often credited with popularizing the name porterhouse. This cut from the cow's short loin combines two favorites in one the filet mignon, and the flavorful New York strip steak. On one side, the filet mignon is tender and soft. On the other hand, the strip steak offers a deep, rich flavor. Cooking a porterhouse to perfection, especially evenly, is tough, mainly in a pan. The best approach is grilling. This method ensures both the filet and the strip are cooked just right. Number 6. Tenderloin Steak – Filet Mignon San Francisco loves its tenderloin steak also called filet mignon. This steak is cut from the middle of the psoas, a major muscle in the cow, a spot that doesn't get much exercise, making the meat incredibly tender. 
It's famous for its mild flavor and is one of the most expensive steak cuts out there. The best ways to cook it are on the grill or in a pan, like you would with a ribeye or strip steak. The tenderloin is unique because it has no connective tissue in a very fine grain. It has a bit of marbling, enough to give it a soft, buttery taste. Number 7. Flap Steak – Bavette Steak The Texans are serious about their grilling, and flap steak is often the star in many of their recipes. The flap steak, often called bavette steak, comes from the bottom sirloin butt of the cow. This steak is big and tasty, with enough fat to keep it juicy. It's a common ingredient in fajitas, carne asada, and other grilled Tex-Mex dishes. One favorite way to prepare it is with a churrasco marinade, often served with chimichurri sauce. Next up, we have a steak that's not just a feast for your taste buds, but also a treat for your eyes. Can you guess which one it is? Number 8. Kulat Steak – Picanha The kulat steak, also known as picanha, is a popular cut from the top sirloin butt of the cows. This part is in the sirloin primal area, and it's known for its beefy flavor. When cooked just right, it's incredibly tender. Butchers, especially in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic, where unique cuts are appreciated, are starting to recognize the potential of the kolot. What makes the kolot stand out is its versatility. It can be cooked in many ways – grilling, pan searing, roasting in the oven, using sous vide, or even smoking. No matter the method, this steak tends to turn out well, making it a reliable choice for various dishes. Number 9. Inside Skirt Steak The inside skirt steak holds a special place in Mexican cuisine, especially in the north, where it's called arachera. It's typically marinated, grilled, and served in tortillas as a taco, often accompanied by lime juice, guacamole, salsa, and onions. The Texans find that the best way to cook inside skirt steak is on the grill using both direct and indirect heat. Pan searing is another option, but they have to be careful because it's a thin cut and can easily be overcooked. Number 10. Outside Skirt Steak The outside skirt steak, a standout in Miami's Cuban cuisine, has a story woven into the fabric of the city's vibrant food scene. Originating from the diaphragm muscle of cows, this steak is larger and thicker compared to the inside skirt steak. In Miami, especially in South Florida, the influence of Cuban cuisine is unmistakable, and the outside skirt steak plays a starring role in the beloved dish, Bistec de Palomia. This preparation involves marinating the steak and then flattening it before grilling it to perfection. It's a staple in many Cuban restaurants and local eateries. Number 11. Newport Steak or Tri-Tip Steak In California, especially Central California around Santa Maria, the Tri-Tip Steak, also known as the Santa Maria Steak, is famous for being grilled with oak wood, which gives it a unique smoky flavor. This steak is a major part of the local barbecue culture in this region. Over in New York City, the tri-tip takes on a different identity as the Newport Steak. This name comes from Florence Meat Market in the West Village. They started cutting the tri-tip into smaller portions, perfect for people living in apartments. That's how it got the nickname Newport. The tri-tip itself is from the bottom sirloin. It's a lean cut, but don't let that fool you. It can be really tender and has a strong beef flavor. Up next, we're diving into some of the most unique cuts. You don't want to miss these next few. They're game changers in the steak world. Number 12. Flat Iron Steak The story of the flat iron steak is a modern tale of culinary discovery. Back in the 1980s, a collaboration between researchers at universities in Nebraska and Florida led to an exciting find within the top blade roast, a part of the beef previously overlooked due to its toughness. They identified a muscle that was both flavorful and tender, a real surprise given its location. They named this cut the flat iron due to its shape resembling an old-fashioned iron. The flat iron steak comes with a specific part of the cow, the shoulder, or more precisely, from the chuck primal area. What really makes the flat iron steak stand out is its tenderness. It's counted among the most tender cuts available, rivaling even the more well-known cuts for this quality. Combined with its rich beefy flavor, it's a hit among steak enthusiasts. Number 13. Strip Steak in the U.S., the strip steak is a famous food staple, especially in Kansas City. It is a real classic from the short loin of the cow. It's got a great beefy taste and is usually pretty tender. But here's the thing. How tender and flavorful it is depends a lot on the grade and marbling of the steak. The people of Kansas have their take on this steak, called the Kansas City Strip. 
It's a bone-in version, which adds a little something extra to the flavor. So if you're ever in Kansas City, you've got to try their version of this classic steak. Number 14. Hanger Steak In Los Angeles, Hanger Steak is a bit of a star. The city's famous steakhouses and its innovative culinary scene often featured on their menus. This type of steak is from the cow's short plate near the belly. It is lean, tender, and has a strong beef flavor. Restaurants like Beacon have even made it their signature dish. They use it to show off some really creative cooking techniques and flavor combinations. We've already explored some incredible steaks, but hold on, because what's coming next might just be your new favorite. Number 15. Rib Steak Chicago and Kansas City are both big on their rib steaks, each with its own style and tradition. Chicago is famous for thick-cut, dry-aged steaks. These have a really intense flavor and are super juicy. On the other hand, Kansas City loves its barbecue. Their rib steaks are all about that open flame cooking, giving them a smoky, char-grilled taste that's just awesome. Now let's talk about the rib steak itself, also known as cotte bouffe. It's like a ribeye, but with the bone in. It tastes pretty much the same as the boneless ribeye, but that bone makes it look cool on the plate. One thing to keep in mind is the meat near the bone cooks a bit slower, but it doesn't change the flavor. 